Pikas live in a loose colony, so they like to have neighbors, but they don't pal up with them. They're not living in family groups. Uh, each individual pika has to have its own yard. A male pika will have a female neighbor, and that's probably one of his mates. They're not monogamous. They don't mate for life or anything like that, and they all mate opportunistically with other neighbors. It turns out uh, female pikas can have up to three litters per year. They have an early litter um, maybe starting in March through May, um, and then they might have another one if the year is good, and maybe even a third. But what's interesting about pikas is that juvenile pika, after it's born, has to attain a mature size, disperse to find a new territory somewhere, start a hay pile for the winter, and amass enough hay that it's going to survive the winter. That's a lot to do in a short alpine summer. So often only the first litter has a chance to survive the next winter. Pikas and marmots coexist quite nicely. Um, in fact, the best pika territories are often right next to or on top of a marmot den. And pikas probably benefit from the alarm calls that marmots make when predators approach. And they might even benefit from marmots basically running weasels off because an adult marmot can do that. Female pikas will often put their, their nursery right in a marmot den. And uh, that seems to benefit the juvenile survival to be near the marmot. So a typical year for a pika is um, nine months under the snow and three short months to collect all the hay they need for the next year. About March they start uh, getting together and breeding. It takes a female, a pregnant female, about three weeks to gestate that, those uh, usually three offspring and then she weans them in another three weeks so that's a short little six week period and then she's ready to breed again. Throughout the summer, she's nursing juveniles, and uh, eventually she starts collecting hay near the end of the summer, starts storing it under a rock. The males start collecting hay earlier in the summer, and uh, they do a lot of territorial running around near the end of the summer. When all those juveniles are looking for territories, the adults are chasing them away, trying to make sure that, that they don't encroach on their territories. And then when the fall comes, they start really ramping up the haying activity and they're collecting vegetation, you know, they'll make a hundred trips a day, grabbing a mouthful of hay and sticking it under the rock. And then as soon as the snows start, the hay piles are pretty much done. And then they go back to hopefully something close to nine months of snow cover. On average, in the literature, it says pikas live about two to three years. That doesn't necessarily mean a lot because juveniles have a very low survival rate compared to adults. I've tagged adult pikas that have lived as long as nine years. If a juvenile pika finds a good territory, it can live for several years. The probability that a juvenile pika is going to live to find its first territory is quite low. 